Hello YouTube, TJ Disney Life here. Today I have another cool knife to unbox for you, and this one is kind of special because this one is from an European knife maker. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm using my Sot Siri Spyderco PM2 to unbox this. Let's cut this box open. Okay, looks like this knife is in a box. Super cool wooden box. It says Rob Johnson's. Let's see what's inside. Cool. Got the knife here. Looks like the Knife details are here on the lid of the box. Model is Cedar. Number is uh, 19. Blade is RWL34 stonewashed. Scale is diamonds. Uh, I believe they are titanium scales. And scale color is metal. Pivot color is metal. Pocket clip color is metal as well. Hardware color is metal. Yep. And date of birth is March 1st, 2024. And there's a signature here. Yeah, you can find them on uh, robjohnsons.com. Cool box. Let's uh, take out the knife and take a look. At this knife. It's diamond pattern, titanium, looks stunning. And it's a flipper and also some hole knife. Okay, let's give it a flick. Super good flick king action. Let's see the flipper action. Super good as well. I think the somehow works better than the flipper. Super good D10. Ooh. The closing action, it's so smooth. This pivot is actually cut out to stop the free spinning. Frame lock, titanium, and RWL34. Let's look at the blade. There is macro uh, mailing lines here. This reminds me of my, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. This reminds me of my Grinsmo Norseman have like similar kind of mailing lines here. And this one has RWL34 as well. What a coincidence. Super cool. Yeah, I like the somehow hole better than the flipper. I think it's because it works every time, but the flipper, sometimes you would miss because this flipper is not so easy to flip out. Yeah, cool knife. 
Yeah, it's, the flipper is kind of smart for me, and you can only do a uh, light switch. If you do push button, this won't work, I think. Yeah, light switch works better. Okay, let's do a quick size comparison. Um, first, let's bring out the PM2. And as you can see, the PM2 has quite similar lens in uh, both the handle and the play. And how about Para 3? Para 3 is definitely shorter than the Cedar. Okay. How about the Grinsmo Norseman? Norseman is uh, a little bit longer in blade lens. Handles are quite similar. How about the Rosie Axel? Rosie Axel is just a touch longer than the seater. Yep. Cool. And how about compare it to Protect Malibu? Malibu is a little bit shorter than the seater. Yeah, this knife is, I would consider this one as a medium to large size knife. And it's quite light. Let's do a weight test as well, real quick. Bring out my scale. Okay, see how much this weights. Okay, 4.183 ounce. It's not heavy at all. I would say quite similar with um, the PM2. Uh, this one is 3.644 ounce because it has G10 scale. And yeah. See how much this power three weighs, four point one six two ounce. So that's quite similar to the cedar, because this one has titanium scales as well. Okay, pretty cool knife. Let's see the ergo, big cutout here. Ergo is good, and there is jimping here. I wish I can choke up here, but this choil is pretty small. And this one is interesting, the um, lock bar insert is actually extended up don't know if you can see it but that's pretty strange that's the first time i think a knife has lock bar insert that extends up this action is perfect this action actually reminds me of the conic mini Aris. Perfectly smooth. Control drop shotty. Okay, there you go. Uh, this is my first impression and unboxing uh, of this Rob Johnson's uh, Cedar. Let me know what do you think about this knife. And I hope you enjoy this video. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.